How to add a custom payment method in WooCommerce quick and easy. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another e-commerce, WooCommerce and WordPress tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add your very own custom payment method in WooCommerce and it's gonna be a 2022 tutorial and it's gonna be very quick and very easy and very efficient. Uh, I'm gonna take you through all the steps. I'm gonna show you how you can sign up to your WordPress, how you can sign up to WooCommerce, what you're gonna need for WooCommerce, how you can connect your email for your PayPal or whatever platform you're gonna be using to add the custom payment method on your shop page and it's gonna be so easy. I'm gonna walk you through all of it and I'm just, I just want you to sit back and relax and watch this video till the end and hear my steps and instructions carefully because if you do, then yes, by the end, you're gonna know how to properly add a custom payment method on WooCommerce and shop page. So let's get right into it without further ado. So first of all, obviously what we're gonna need to do is you're gonna go to wordpress.com and over here we're gonna go on tempmail.com because I'm gonna get you started up with your WordPress or your WooCommerce. So what is WordPress? WordPress is the world's most popular website builder if you don't know. So in the top right you see get started, over here you're gonna go and get started to sign yourself up. And over here you're gonna put in an email address you're gonna go to username, add any username, it doesn't really matter. And then we're just gonna choose a password. I'll choose that and we're gonna click on create account. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask us to choose domain, choose any domain, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna write anything that you want as your domain and it's gonna give you all these domains. Now you can use the paid ones, obviously, but you're gonna need to pay for them. They're gonna be free for the first year, but then they're gonna be $19 per year or $20 per year or even $65 per year or $75 per year. It totally depends on the type of dot, like if it's a dot com, a dot org, dot organic, it depends on that. So you can put that in or you can just use this free one or you can just choose your domain later if you want to. I'm just gonna go ahead with this free one right now. It's not the most appealing, but hey, that's what you get for free. So then you come to choose a plan. Over here you can choose plans. There's a personal, premium, business, and e-commerce. Now obviously the most popular one is a premium plan which is $8 per month and uh, it has great features. You can go ahead and use them if you want to or if you just want to dabble through and see if for the fun of it you can just start with a free site and that's what I'm going to do right now. Now what it's going to ask you is your goals and I'm just going to skip them right now but I recommend that you fill these in. As you can see, what are your goals? Tell us what would you like to accomplish with your website. Now you can select all that apply to you. So you can select write and publish, promote whatever you want, or you can select other, and then you're gonna continue. Now I recommend you to do this because what WordPress does is it sees your goals and according to that, it optimizes your WordPress website. Now I don't really want that, so I'm just gonna go and skip to dashboard. Now, once I've skipped to dashboard, what is gonna happen is it's gonna create my WordPress page fully and here I am. So now what's gonna happen is uh, if you're not familiarized with how the WordPress page works, I recommend that you watch a video of mine I have uploaded in which I briefly and in detail discuss how the WordPress page works. Go ahead and check that out if you want to. If you do, it's just really helpful. And in this left-hand side, I've explained all that these things do. Now, obviously, for WooCommerce, we're going to need to add its plugin. Now, know this. To add the plugin, uh, you're going to need to upgrade your account. Obviously, you can't use it on free accounts. So, let's go ahead and write WooCommerce. So, now we're here on WooCommerce. Uh, you can add the subscriptions or whatnot if you want to, but if you want to add the proper WooCommerce, you're just going to click on that. And once you click on that, it says verify your email address before setting up a store. So we're just going to go here and we're going to click on this and confirm your email. And once we do that, uh, we're just going to go and do that. And once our email is added, we're gonna set up a store and start selling online. So you're just gonna click on start a new store and here you're gonna put in your details. For example, I'm just gonna put in any random thing like Aurora Lane, 23 Street, City, uh, Atlanta. It doesn't really matter. I'm just putting in 
random things right now. It doesn't country or state. Put in the country that does match with your store, obviously. I'm just putting random information in for the tutorial purposes. So then you're just gonna put in your email over here. You're gonna click on continue. What type of products will be listed? Uh, physical downloads, whatever. And then you're gonna put in the number of products you have. Uh, optional, what other platform you're using. You can put in eBay, Amazon, whatever you're using. If you're not using anything, just keep it blank. Or you can just put in the app you're using. And domain change required. Now know this that to use WooCommerce, you are going to need to upgrade your plan. You can't make your WooCommerce on a free plan. So be aware of that. So obviously I'm not going to update the plan right now, but once you do that, it's going to properly create your WooCommerce page and over here, it's going to start giving you functions. Now, obviously to get into more detail, we're going to go on the WooCommerce website. And as you can see, it's an open source e-commerce platform where you can basically you start a store where you can add these extensions of it. So you can get started from here or you can just add it directly to your WordPress page. Now I'm going to show you how you're going to make a page because obviously you're going to need to know how to make a page to add your payment methods onto. So you're going to just going to go on pages. Once you're on pages, what you're going to do is you're going to go and add new page. Now, once you go and add new page, you're going to wait for it to load up. It takes a while to load up because it gives you all these great, amazing templates to work around with. We're just going to wait for this to load up really quick. And here we go here. It's loaded up. So now what we're going to want to do is we can start with a blank page if we want to, or we can choose from all of these great templates that the workspace provides us with. So I'm just going to choose this for now for the purposes of a tutorial and then you can change these if you want to. I don't really want to. So I'm just going to go and publish and once you publish it, it's going to load for a bit. And what that's going to do is it's going to publish it to this domain name that you have on yourself. So once you do that, your page is properly created. We're going to go back on our dashboard and once we're over here, now what you're going to do is you're going to want to add posts because obviously there is no page that has no posts. So once you're here, you're just going to click on add new post. I'm going to wait for this to load up. Now, obviously here it's loaded up. Then you can start adding your post. Let's say we want to add a post called custom payment. And I want to add custom. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to go on publish. Now what this is going to do is it's going to publish your post onto your page and we're just going to go back over here. Now once our page is properly created, again, we're going to go to our WooCommerce and from here it's going to give us our widgets to add our uh, payment methods. And for that, it's obviously going to ask us to link our payment methods. Now you can link your Pioneer, your PayPal, your bank account, whatever you want to link it. Basically, you link whatever you want the customer visiting your shop page to send the money to. You're going to add that and what that's going to do is it's automatically going to connect the two and from there on out, you're going to automatically get the custom payment. And that is how easy it is to add a custom payment method onto your WooCommerce shop page. And yeah, that's the basic gist of it. If you want to know anything more about this, please let me know. I'll make more advanced techniques for you. But yeah, uh, if you have any queries related to this video, let me know. I'll help you ASAP. If you want to see more videos like this related to WordPress and other e-commerce tutorials, let me know that as well and I'll make more videos for you. But yeah, until then, like the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. Share this video around with anyone in need. Comment down a nice comment if you like the video. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. Uh, that's all from me, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.